out of it with three gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 14 Pro has that Apple A16 binding chip inside of it with six gigs of RAM. So let's go see which one is the faster one between both. Okay, let's get into it. Clearing all the apps in the background, we should get started. So 14 Pro is here, 10R is here, phone calls 3, 2, 1. A little bit of a glitchy experience on the iPhone 10R. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I don't know why my apps are so cluttered on here. Music 3, 2, 1. We're going to get into a little bit of a different pop-up there. I still think it would have probably loaded faster on the 14 Pro. Let's go into settings, 3, 2, 1. Now, even on an application like that, you can see the differences between both, which is pretty crazy. App Store, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go and hop out of here, scrolling through, see if there's a difference, which I don't know if there's going to be one. Kind of the same thing, not that big of a difference there. Podcast, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 14 Pro is faster. Clock, 3, 2, 1. Even there, a little bit of a glitchy experience to click open the application on the 10R, which is very interesting. Reminders, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 10R was faster there. Very, very surprising. Apple TV, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I don't know why this one opened up the news and this one didn't. So now we have to do the opposites on both. So let's go and open it up here just to keep it the same. That was very, very weird. I don't know why that happened. Camera, three, two, one. Okay. Another pop-up here. Let's go ahead and get into a photo. Let's go ahead and open up that photo. And definitely there, 14 Pro is definitely faster there as well. Photo, three, two, one. It is very interesting. I didn't think there was going to be this big of a difference between both, but there does look like there's a pretty big difference between them. Temple run, two, three, two, one. And you can see right here, the 14 Pro is definitely a fast phone for sure. I mean, that is much faster just even from opening up this game. And there's there were a few glitches that happened right there on the iPhone XR as well. So you're definitely getting, in my opinion, a faster performing phone on something like the iPhone XR for sure than something like the iPhone 14 Pro. Or you're getting a much faster phone on the 14 Pro than on the iPhone XR. And even in games like this, it's probably going to be the same exact thing. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into Genshin Impact 3, 2, 1. It's a very, very big game. I've played this game on a multitude of different phones, both Android and iOS, and I've gotten pretty good experience on both, even on lower-end phones, like even like the 10R, it plays this game pretty well, but the difference is, is that there's a lot of graphic profiles you can change. So, on lower graphics, it handles it well in the 10R, but on the same high graphics, the 14 Pro is definitely going to be giving you a better experience, and that is evident even with this loading speed. I mean, look how much faster it was to load on the iPhone 14 Pro than on something like 10R. Even getting out of that application was a little bit of a slower, choppy experience on the iPhone, you know, 10R. So I think when it comes down to it, the 14 Pro is definitely a far faster phone than the 10R in pretty much every single way. These both are on iOS 16 as well. And, you know, I will say gaming and everything, 14 Pro is going to be better. You can still get good experience from the, you know, 10R, but definitely the speed is there for the 14 Pro for sure. Now in terms